direct capture of objectives dco dco is the peda express way of collaborating from beginning to end it is a way of working that forms a continuous cycle of collaboration iteration and validation business and it people work together to model the final application step by step using the peda platform dco focuses on application design and build achieving business outcomes human centered design iterations to realize business value faster pega platform offers visual tools to capture outcomes design screens workflows and feedback it is a very important question what is dco dco is direct capture of objectives dco is a discipline it is a way in which people work business and it teams collaborate in a continuous cycle fashion this is a discipline a way to work a continuous cycle driven by collaboration iteration and validation coming to definition you can say this this is a discipline a way of work but coming to what practically physical significance of dco so it's not like business team will prepare the specification requirement document give to the dev team dev team will develop for two months then again business people will review it they tell this is not what we expect that is not dco this is means every sprint there is involvement of key business stakeholders business team and dev team project delivery lead scrum master product owner lsa dev team everyone listen activity what is developed in sprint and they will try to you feedback in the early stages so that dev team will incorporate those changes in the next sprint depending on the prp that is what is dco so the benefit of dco is you need not create time consuming requirements documentation instead you capture all the information necessary to build an application directly in the pega platform itself in the app studio from business outcomes to technical components to implement the micro journey everything you captured in the pega platform only epics backlogs user stories directly you can capture in the app studio so dco sessions can run in both all the phases prepare build adopt all phases so based on the feedback received you do refinement you you are you ideate and prototype in the prepare phase based on the dco sessions you do refinement to the product in the build phase based on the dco sessions conducted in the adopt phase you, you can get new product enhancements in upcoming mlps the primary source of input for dco sessions are created in the discovery phase itself so basically dco it's a discipline of working wherein business and it come together on a single table single platform and discuss whether they have achieved what they need or not pega platform helps you in dco by using different studios so app studio will have agile workbench directly you can integrate with your project management framework the app studio itself creates some of the pega rule forms end user portal page designer you can also see what all the integrations and what are all the internal and external sors in your system using the data designer what are the who are the participants in a dco everyone is all as a participant this is the core dco team subject matter experts support the product owner with detailed know how and business requirements business architects educate the core team on the out of the box pega components available to address the business requirement basically they lead the dco session by working with the business team system architect ux designer they act as a session moderator for the dco session product owner provide the vision direction and scope for the application there is only always only one product owner who is responsible for ensuring the business is appropriately presented at dco session system architects are the actual developers to develop qa bar tester to test to see whether the 
acceptance criteria defined in the user story is achieved or not by the dev team for the user story in the screen. UX designer for UI and UX designer. These are the core digital members. But optionally, you can also involve other team members. For example, these are called as extended DCO team members. These include stakeholders with specialist knowledge and users of the application. When required, these specialists can be called upon, and these people are not required in all DCO systems. Thank you.